So here's the scoop. Young adults, those born between 1980 and 2000, are under higher financial stress than any previous generation. More than half of them reportedly cry during the home buying process, and they experience more financial remorse than any other generation. To that end, we believe here at Investing Path that it is crucial that we have a conversation about the worst money mistakes that should be avoided at all costs, especially if you are under the age of 30. When it is reported that the majority of millennials believe they will never have enough money to get what they want in life, that should serve as a warning that we need to steer clear of the biggest money traps that people fall into. But before we move on, please make sure to hit the like, subscribe, and bell button to stay updated for more of our content while you're at it. But other than that, let's get started. Okay, so here's something that caught us off guard recently. Millennials will be responsible for nearly all of the growth in the luxury market in 2023. Moreover, we observe far too many people enjoying extravagant lifestyles that are above their means. Convenience purchases such as those made via the internet, via delivery services like Uber, and most expensive of all, food, are considered to be particularly popular among millennials and those under the age of 35. 75% of millennials, it has been claimed, weighs money trying to keep up with their peers in terms of apparel, automobiles, mobile phones, and other luxuries. The temptation to live beyond one's means is far too great. This fits neatly with the theory of the dinner effect, which states that when one person buys something nice, it makes everything else seem less nice in comparison, leading them to feel compelled to upgrade their other possessions to the same level of niceness and ultimately consume much more than they had planned. Spending over your means makes you dependent on earning a regular salary. Spending too much money limits your ability to take risks, try new things, and travel widely, all of which are essential for learning and growth. Getting deep into student loan debt is a bad idea. As an example, the average debt for the graduating class of 2022 was $37,574, but the average salary for graduates is only $55,000. So taking on such a large loan would be financially irresponsible. As interest rates rise, you know you need to get debt under control quickly. Paying off debt at the beginning of a career at the lower end of the pay grade can sometimes hold you back, which is something most people don't know. We realize that the cost of higher education can be prohibitive, but there are several questions you should ask yourself. The first question to answer is, what do you want to accomplish with your life? And does that require a degree? If it doesn't, you might want to rethink going. 2. Is it really worth it to go into debt if you need a degree? Nowadays, employment history is more important than academic credentials to most employers. Last but not the least, failing to bargain for nearly anything is a serious error. Other than that, we believe it is necessary to approach a circumstance with the attitude that nothing is final. Your ability to persuade others increases in proportion to the strength of your arguments, the more likely it is that the proposal will be accepted. Many individuals are astonished to learn how far a courteous inquiry can get them. Learning how to successfully negotiate is likely one of the most useful skills you will acquire. This changes the course of events. There is one additional angle from which you can profit while employing these tactics to further advance your position. The majority of folks aren't even aware that they should be taking this step. Meanwhile, managing your investments is a common topic of conversation. Most of the time, we are the ones who put in the most effort and brings in the most cash. Building or enhancing your credit score is a crucial step you can take right away. If you have never been late in any loan payment, then the process will be quite straightforward. Now. In spite of how much money you earn and save, having a good credit score is crucial in today's market. This is the point where everything becomes clear. Get a credit card with no annual fee right now. As a second piece of advice, use the credit card like it is an extra bank account. No one should use a credit card to make a purchase if they don't have the financial means to pay for it with full cash. Third, 
just charge your regular expenses on the card. Lastly, to avoid accruing interest, always pay off your credit card balance in full at the end of the month. If you pay attention to those four processes, you will have learned around 80% of what is necessary to know in order to develop credit. The best interest rates apply only if you use the card sparingly and pay it off in full each month. Fifth, one of the major mistakes virtually everyone makes is not keeping track of their finances. So make sure to get rid of any negative items that may be weighing you down on your credit report. In a far less percentage than we had anticipated, only 24% of millennials are spending money in ways they can genuinely afford. This is unacceptable because you should make it a habit to examine all of your purchases from the past 60 days, regardless of how flawless you may believe yourself to be. We can almost guarantee that you will find some areas where you can start cutting costs that you were previously unaware even existed. Finally, divide your expenses in half as this will help you save the most money. There are two types of expenses, those that are required of you and those that you can do without. Fourth, once you have that sum, start slashing non-essential discretionary spending and then start bargaining with your mandatory spending to see if you can obtain a better deal. In conclusion, pull yourself together and count on a miracle if you want to retire rich. Keep in mind the importance of funding your retirement funds as soon as you can, because time is one of the most valuable commodities you possess in your 20s. It's possible to use the power of compound interest to quickly amass a fortune, allowing you to buy a Lamborghini and ignore any temporary dips in the market. But think about this. If you start investing $100 per month when you are 20 and earn 8% annually, you'll have $540,000 by the time you retire at 65. But if you thought, I'll start doing this when I'm 25 instead, then you'll only have $337,000 invested by the time you are 65, a difference of $167,000 because you have 40 years to see your savings and investments grow. The money you put away in your 20s will be the most important money you ever have. We think this is a period when you can really turn the tables to your benefit. It may not be worth much now, but you will be very grateful soon enough once you've avoided this money mistakes. On the other hand, we'd like to know your thoughts. What do you think about these money mistakes? Do you think they're not really much of an issue? Or do you have another one you'd like to share so that people may avoid it? Comment down your ideas. But besides that, thanks for watching. This is Investing Path. And if you enjoyed watching this video, then go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, and bell button to stay updated for more of our news, tips, and updates for you about the stock market and personal financing and investment. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.